Welcome to This Is My Architecture. Today we're going to be talking about using SAP on AWS to move towards real-time closing. I'm joined by Serena Vast from Liberty Mutual Insurance. Welcome, Serena. What does Liberty Mutual Insurance do? Uh, Liberty Mutual helps people preserve and protect what they earn, build, own, and cherish. Fantastic. And so, what does real-time closing mean? Why are you working towards that? Uh, Real-time close means the business uh, uh, people doesn't need to wait for any time to close the books at the end of the month. So it means they can get answers quicker and more easily. Yes, that's correct. You know, today in our uh, previous uh, uh, today's world, they wait for ten days to close the books. So Fantastic. the goal is to close the books, continuous close of the books. So you built a, a new architecture here, based on SAP, to really uplift your capability from your old systems. Talk us through what you built here. Uh, before this migration, we have our SAP world systems running uh, in on-prem, SAP's ECC and BPC. The goal was to migrate those systems onto the uh, AWS. So we have our, all of our uh, policy systems and uh, claim systems and reinsurance systems uh, running on-prem. Through an ETL layer, they ingest data into S3 on a scheduled basis. That data finally ends up in HANA, as for HANA, uh, on a scheduled basis uh, uh, for further processing by our financial analysts. So let's draw that flow so we can sort of see how it's going through. So you've got data coming from your ETL into S3, and then and that's loading into the HANA database. And how often is that taking place? Uh, today, based upon the source system, uh, it could be uh, at the end of the month, or it could be uh, on a weekly basis from the source systems to S3, but it is always from S3 to our S4 HANA landscape on an end of the month basis. Okay. But in the real-time closing concept, that's going to be more event-based? Exactly. So in a real-time close scenario, so the source systems would be producing events. Those events would be sourced into S4 HANA on a real-time basis. And talk to me about this component here. So what I have here is uh, my high availability topology. The boxes, to, uh, the two boxes up here, App Servers and HANA, and uh, the same configuration is supported uh, on the other side. So where uh, we have uh, HANA replication set up between the primary database server and the secondary database server to support uh, uh, the failover onto my uh, my my secondary server. And you're running on the X1 family for EC2 here? That's correct. So we have X132 instances running uh, to support my HANA database up here. And what sort of performance improvement did you see moving to that particular architecture? Uh, prior to this migration, the currency translations used to take like a 10 hours, and they are taking under an hour now. That's a huge win for us. Uh, which is also allowing us to achieve that uh, faster close of mm. the books. Mm. Uh, and also, our financial analysts are able to uh, create ad hoc reports in minutes before they were taking uh, more, you know, a longer time. So way more capacity there. And I also see you've got a, a DR solution also built in here as well. Right. So we have uh, defined cross-region replication of uh, the backups and snapshots from our primary to the secondary region to support the build out of the uh, disaster recovery infrastructure. So I notice here you've got CloudFormation and CloudWatch. What are you using those for in this architecture? Uh, the cloud formation is to uh, automate uh, the build out of the infrastructure. And also the cloud formation is uh, supported through a bamboo pipeline uh, to schedule the build outs or, uh, uh, of this infrastructure. The CloudWatch is help allowing us to define uh, thresholds and monitor this infrastructure for those key events. And how long does it take the CloudFormation templates to build out this SAP landscape? Uh, it's about uh, under an hour. We can build this whole uh, primary and the secondary and uh, all this uh, topology. And what did that used to take in terms of build time? Uh, probably, I would say, months. So to as an example, uh, we were able to share our cloud formation artifacts with the uh, other business unit in Liberty Mutual. They were able to create their own S4 HANA infrastructure uh, in days as opposed to months. So you've moved from months to days in terms of building your environments and have the ability to clone them as well. 
That's correct. That's fantastic. Srinivas, thanks so much for sharing that with us today. Thank you. And thank you so much for watching This Is My Architecture.